main goal is to win Indy 500. I think it's the biggest, biggest race in the world and uh, it's definitely a big dream of mine. I, I still remember the first time he came to the race shop. Young guy just, you know, coming to America, fulfilling his dream. It takes a lot of courage on the part of the drivers. There was really only one that I thought we should be looking at when Sam and I were looking for the direction that we wanted to go with the team. I watched Simon race Atlantic uh, back in 2005. He was a perfect combination of a lot of experience but still young and, and had the potential to, to do fantastic here. And, and Sam said, here you go, I've got a contract for you. It was a really good contract so I signed it and uh, here we are. So it was great to be able to put you know, Honda and Simon and Sam and myself all together. We're putting our, all our efforts to uh, make this structure become one of the top team and be able to go out and win races and championships and hopefully the Indy 500 very soon. The Indy car is the most physical race car you'll find on the planet. I go to the gym about minimum two hours every day. There's no assistance on our brakes, no power steering. Heartbeat is beating 180 the whole race. The G-forces just pushes you one side or another. The training is really extensive. High G-forces, high temperatures in the cockpit of 110 degrees is not something to be taken lightly. You need to be fit and ready. Uh, Simon is one of the persons who can really give me advice uh, and help at, uh, at getting up to speed. One of us is better in a certain corner, the other one's going to ask what, what he's doing differently. And the drivers need to have a very high uh, reaction speed because there's a lot of stuff that can happen on the track that you're not ready for. I talk to the drivers, encourage them to win, to give them the confidence and courage they need to get the best result we can. You want to mentally raise your intensity so you can drive the car to its limit uh, without having the aspect of fear. As a race car driver, you've got to have the confidence that you can beat the others. There's no reason to go racing if you don't think you can win. The qualification format is a knockout qualifying format. There's a high probability that a car might crash or have an incident, and so the practice session or the qualifying session might end early. Debris in line on turn 10. Debris in line on turn 10. Hey, we have a car spot at turn 9, driver's right. Fit this lap, fit this lap. The driver can't be afraid on, on any turn at any time on the racetrack. I think if, if a driver starts having the seeds of, of, of doubt or concern, then, then their focus isn't on, on racing. What happened in qualifying, we took some downforce off the car and it was too hot to do that. Even though my concentration level was at its maximum, uh, the car was very difficult to drive and we didn't qualify as well as we wanted. It takes a lot, you know, as a, as a, as a human. It takes a lot to block out something so important for, for us. Fear, this doesn't exist for a driver. If it exists, go home.